Welcome everyone. Today I wanted to talk about Haskell, the functional programming language that Cardano uses as the base for constructing their cryptocurrency. And this is not going to be a technical video. You know, I'm not a computer scientist, so I don't understand the intricacies of the code of how to use Haskell. I'm just approaching this like a, a person who does not have knowledge in this coding realm. So, but what I've understood from what I've read is that this coding language is very advanced. It's influenced a lot of the coding languages that are used today, including C++, uh, from Java, uh, PureScript, Rust. Uh, as you can remember that the, the previous video that I did, one of the previous video I did, the Yodi wallet is run in what Rust. So um, the Rust is a very popular coding language for web applications and that that sort of that sort of code. So all of these high influence codes that are used by Microsoft, by Google, by Apple, um, um, and various other companies, they those programming languages were actually influenced. Um, by um, Haskell. So Haskell could be considered the godfather of programming languages. Although there are previous languages before predecessors that influence Haskell, but Haskell is, the, is a very good programming language. One of the reasons why I think that um, Cardano chose Haskell is because it has a high barrier to entry, meaning that, you know, right now I could go on Udemy, I could purchase a course of how to code and you know, after a month or maybe a couple months, I would technically be a coder. Maybe I could write a couple of applications or create a game or whatnot. And I would, I could go around calling myself, oh, I know how to code, I know how to program and whatnot. I could do the basics. But would you want me programming or coding the financial stack of the future? Would you want me programming uh, Cardano? I don't think so. You know, you need to have a strong computer science background. And in addition, you need to be well versed in Haskell to even understand this programming language, which really is great because it, it attracts the, 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 mo the highly skilled Haskell developers are highly skilled computer scientists that are building the Cardano code. So this is the bedrock of what Cardano is built upon. You may think that this is a hindrance for the future progression of Cardano, like this is a high barrier to entry. How are people going to create um, their cryptocurrencies or how are they people are going to build on top of the Cardano ecosystem? This is just a base layer. You know, if you're familiar with the KEVM and the Yella testnet, these are basically, you know, one of them is the Ethereum virtual machine. So programmers that understand the, um, the Solidity language could um, create their Ethereum contracts. They could be ported onto the Cardano ecosystem, um, but many functional programming languages will be supported. Pretty much all the most popular languages will be able to be built on top of the Cardano ecosystem. So you, but you want to use a strong code as the base layer, the foundation, and then put other languages on top because the the most important, the the bedrock, the structure, it has to have as little weak points as possible. You know, there could be attacks and whatnot. You want to have a secure and um, you want to have a secure blockchain. There are times where certain things can go wrong within the within a um, within a cryptocurrency, whether that's um, like, for example, that whether it's a Byzantine actor or or whatnot, you need to make sure that the code is as um, immutable and as strong as possible. So, you know, these are the basics of why Cardano is using Haskell. It has a lot of functionality. It is a, it, it is, it is a highly versed language. It is a very simplified and modular code. So code can sometimes get ugly and sometimes it could be um, succinct and get right to the point. You know, I, I, I'm not very familiar with code, but when it comes to website creation, for example, this is just an off example. But when you look at websites and you see a picture on that website, there's lines of code that go behind that website that say that the picture is here. It's enlarged this amount of degree. Maybe it's shifted a couple units to the right. Whatever the case may be, that may be like 10 lines of code there. Move this here, put this here, enlarge here, what and whatnot. All these instructions in order for the code to represent what you're seeing on the website. 
But, you know, if Haskell was used for this kind of this kind of task, maybe that code would have been shortened down to one line or two lines. It's supposed to be very functional in that sense. So there's not superfluous code. So one thing you need to know is when you go to their GitHub, when you go to Cardano's GitHub, you need to be very impressed at what they're doing because not only do they have a lot of lines of code, but they're writing it in Haskell, which is a modular and succinct coding language. So the amount of code, think about it, as this the amount of code that Cardano is writing in their GitHub, if it was written in another programming language, it might be 10x those type of lines. And that's what other crypto projects are working on. They they have a they have another functional, they have another language that they're using, and it's not as succinct as Haskell. So it's that whole quantity versus quality. But when you hear when you look at Cardano's GitHub, it's both quantity and quality because they have so many people working on this project. So it is amazing. So whenever you see that maybe another GitHub for another project is is producing maybe more lines than Cardano, look at the functional, look at the programming language that they're using and then compare the programming languages and then come back with an accurate representation. You know, part of the issues with Ethereum is that when it was initially created, the code is is sloppy. There are a lot of holes. A lot of the developers say that there's there's just it, it's just not as clean as what Cardano is. We're building this from the block up. So what do you think about Haskell? What are your thoughts? Um, as if you're a developer, let me know how advantageous this is for the Cardano ecosystem. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And once again, thank you for all your support. I'm reading your comments, and until the next video.